All right, so it's going to be a bit of a tutorial. I never do tutorial videos. How to get started as a ranger. And what I do is I don't start with any, I turn off useful, go to <clears throat> don't go to the options and I turn off, start with a kit of useful gear. And then the other thing I do is I turn on Force Player Descent, which for a lot of people is scary, but it saves you 125 gold every time you return to town, because you don't have to, uh, you can just use the stairs instead of using a scroll, so I like to do those two things to save money. And then I buy bolts, because bolts are 1d5, which is more damage than other things that you're shooting or throwing. And today I found 30 bolts, and I was able to buy all 30 of them, and then another six of these regular bolts. I've broken only one so far. I just started this game, and I immediately found the stairs, so I'm on level two. And then 14 scrolls of phase door, I buy two light wounds, and a ward of recall. So I should have no problem killing that guy, and then killing this guy too, because he was in. I didn't even, he was obviously standing between me and the red one. So, yeah. He probably stole some stuff. At least he didn't steal any of my items. 20 gold ain't, ain't nothing. Um, did he do all that damage? How did he do so much damage? I might want to heal up before I hit this guy because I could get killed pretty easily. Let's do, uh... That's probably good enough. <gasps> wow. Too bad I didn't buy any shots, huh? Too bad I did not buy any shots. So that's basically it. I can pretty much, you know, just throw bolts all the way until about level 8. By the time I reach dungeon level 8, well, I already have something better than throwing bolts. I just have to go get enough gold to buy some shots. There's actually a short bow of power in the, in the weaponsmith. So if I can find stairs kind of dive a little bit faster right now I can get some money buy that bow it's only like 900 bucks or something so that's that might be the plan if, we, if, it, if the shops change their inventory I'll just buy some shots and use this sling and since I'm a ranger I'm really wanting to find a good bow I'm not really sure why people don't like to play with sound. I think the sounds are the, one of the better parts of this game. Uh-oh. The other thing I like to do in the early game is I don't like to try the potions as I have them. In certain situations I will, but usually what I'll try to do is collect a bunch of potions until my inventory is full. Then I'll go home. I'll go back to town and I'll put... I'll just drop them in the store and then... This, and then basically I'm looking for speed because I'd rather not waste the speed learning it. I'd rather give it to the store, buy it back. Give it to the store, buy it back, and then have one extra speed that way. Hey, whoa, all right. Or business, huh? 
This guy's a little bit dangerous because he casts spells, but I'm a fairly bold player. I'm pretty brazen. If you die, you just play again. I like the early game, so I don't really care if I die that much. For some reason, I, I sort of enjoy the early game quite a bit. Easy. He'll come back. We'll, we'll, we don't have to chase him down. He'll, he'll return. Maybe he won't. These bolts sure do a lot of damage. Do more damage. Mm, that would be a cursed torch. If you were a torch, if you put on a torch with um, question marks, uh, hit the wrong guy. I wanted to hit this guy. Soldiers, soldiers are really generally pretty dangerous, but that guy didn't get me too. He didn't really get me at all. You gotta be careful because sometimes they will get you pretty good. Well, these guys can be dangerous too. I'm losing money. I might have lost some bolts, so I, I probably want to try to find those guys if I can. I only have 20 bolts left. I don't have monster detection, so it's hard for me to find them. jellies are sort of pretty much unable to do anything. I don't know where those guys went. I don't bother buying a book. I mean sometimes I do. It depends. Depends what else I buy in the beginning, but I like to save that 25 gold to buy other things like good ammo. If there's no good ammo, then I'll buy a book. Oh yeah. Take that. Take that. Oh, here he is. Darn it. Darn! Darn it all to darn! I want my money and I want my bolts. Alright, let's phase. So we know he's in the hallway, so even though we don't see him, we're gonna throw bolts. That's how that works. Now I kinda wish I did have a book. Die! Darn you! Should I give up? Should I stop worrying about my bolts? I'm gonna be buying a... I'm gonna be buying a sling anyway soon enough. Screw it, let's just go. So my, 
My feeling in this game, if you know what you're doing, you really never need to take the upstairs. Oftentimes I do get myself into trouble when I crash dive and I just take a bunch. Is that a trap? This section of the ceiling falls behind you. If you, if you, if you don't crash dive, in other words, if you don't skip a bunch of levels by taking a bunch of stairs rapidly, you should always be, you should really be fine and find what you need before you're getting too deep. That has been my experience. It's rare that when I'm taking it it's slow, that I find myself too deep. Usually I find myself too shallow. Oh, I wanted to walk over that. Somehow I didn't click right. It's too bad. Hopefully we find stairs soon. You don't have to spend that much time on a level. Oh, but look who we found. Mr. Uh, our friend, what's his name? So how much damage does this do? 12.4 versus 8.6. We're going to wield that then. I'm going to try to save my bolts for um, bull roar. See that brown guy's the bull roar of the hobbit. He usually drops something decent. Alright, it's on. He moves quickly. You gotta be careful. So he's gonna kill us. Alright, um. I think he's still in the hallway. He is. He's gonna be on us too quickly, though. attacked us but he got afraid in the very end there and he and he ran so that was pretty good he didn't drop anything terribly great but definitely you know he drop a heavy cloak with some good AC enchantment so that's pretty good malls are really nice early finds malls are like the best early weapon and you often and they're pretty common too so Oh, I don't like this guy. Go away, Smeeg. I want to fight these guys, but I don't want Smeagol to rob me. Oh, it's uh, Wonder. That's pretty good. I don't want to throw my bolts at him because Smeagol will pick him up. So... Did he get me? He got me. Uh oh. Somebody's going hog wild on me here. Well, that was a little scary, but... He got bad rolls on his on his uh, his arrows. Whoops. Alrighty, let's oh, let's heal up. We gotta heal. I'm playing a Hobbit Ranger. I like Hobbit Rangers because they have such good stealth starting out. Stealth sure is a handy thing. He healed. A gallant of him. I guess I should have healed up a little bit more before I fought him. So I'm just going to explore a little bit until my health generates a little bit. And then I take the stairs. I have enough to buy that, that, that sling, but I don't have much more money for much else, like healing or... That's pretty good. I don't know why I pick up this though, I can use it.
It's a yellow dragonfly. Searching five, that's nice. Searching four? <laughs> I am pretty sure that has never happened in all the years that I've played this game to pick up two very good searching rings next to each other. Let alone pick up two very good searching rings. I've never had two very good searching rings. I've had one good one, very good one, and one like okay one, well, like five and two, but five and four, that's kind of interesting. I have, what is my searching? 78%. Plus, I'm not going to fall into too many trap doors. Why doesn't that work? I don't get it. I'm supposed to be able to hold down the control key and, and attack, but. Find that out. Figure out that one. Rubble's actually often you find some cool stuff under rubble. I don't know how how benefit it can be at this depth, but we can check it out. I mean, for all I know, those are speed potions. You never know. Or true seeing could be useful. Could be heroism. Alright. So even though we have force to send on, we haven't gone up any stairs, we're doing fine. We're not we're not in any difficulty, we're not feeling uncomfortable at our depth. So there's really no reason to play with uh, those green things of acid attack so we don't really mess with them too much. Hello! Woohoo! Alright. Now we're see. Now we're in the money. Now we're in the money. Bye bye Mr. Fang! Bye bye, Mr. Fang. Where's your brother Grip? That's a priest handbook. That's not, we can't use it. Well, we might as well hit the stairs. We're doing well, right? It's gonna happen. We're gonna get hungry. That's alright. Looks slow. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a very good one. It's a cool looking room. Very nice sandals. We like that very much. This is going very well for us right now. More money. Hopefully we can get that thing of power. Maybe we should go back and see if it's there. I don't know. I find that the stores turn over a lot and a lot and early on in the game. It's very rare that I go back after even just 3,900 turns and find that the uh, the items that I wanted when the game started are still there, but maybe it's 5,000 turns that I have to get back there. So maybe, there it is, lesser charms. I love this. <laughs> I love the sound of the ruffling pages, it's so nice. <gasps> let's, take some, let's take some trap door. You hit the W, capital W, and then you can walk under the trap door. That's kind of nice. <gasps> Die! Eight point six damage, twelve point five. We're going to wait a little bit for the uh, 
Well, I guess we're not waiting. We're gonna heal up and then we're gonna go fight all those dudes. We only have 4,100 turns, we got a few more hundred to go. Eat steel, my friends! Perfect. We have we have basically no average equipment, which is just awesome. It's very, very awesome. It's what you want it to be like. Big rooms like this are so dangerous. Because I won't, I'll never be able to phase out of here, so... I mean, eventually I'll be lucky to get near the entrance to the room, and then I'll be able to run away. Phasing out of here will be hard. And I don't know, do I want to use up all my friggin' shots to... I guess I do. In fact, I don't even have to use them all. Who, who did that? I guess the red guy did. So the red guy confuses you. He's a mage. Cast spells. I guess I could have... I don't want to use up all my healing, so I figured I had enough health where I could risk attacking those guys without healing first. Attacking while confused. I hit something that was invisible. Probably a ghost or... So now I'm almost dead, I have to phase. I could cure... See, I should have cured earlier now, because I didn't. I'm gonna have to cure again now. Or run away. I do, I can just run away, nothing's gonna shoot arrows at me. The blue kobolds are large kobolds, and they're slightly slower than me, I guess, because he disappeared. And they have a lot of hit points relative to their kin. But they don't have a lot of, um, or they don't shoot at all, which is nice. Let's do that a little bit. Uh-oh. a little dangerous right now. So he did, he was able to take a swing at me even though he's, I thought he was slower than me, I'm very confused. Well, I can't have him hitting me, so I got a phase and hope for a good phase, and I got a good phase. So maybe after this we'll go home to the town after he finishes battle. Another really important concept to get in this game is that you don't want to do what I just did. You don't want to move into them. You don't want to move next to them and then have them take their turn. Because then they're going to... Nice. Then they're going to... Uh, so we can get rid of all these torches now. What they're going to do is they're going to attack you immediately. So you want to step next to... You want to step... Hello. Strength. Woohoo! So we can drop the dagger and the mole. That was pretty awesome. I think that was under the, the rubble too, right? Hopefully it's got something like... Uh, slay Orc or something useful for the early game. Orc is probably the most useful slay in the early game. So we're going to try some of these scrolls. Oh boy, I guess we're not going to jump down the stairs just yet. Might as well. Pretty nice. Light is very useful. Good for killing orcs and trolls. But also good for illuminating that pesky monster you're trying to kill down a corridor. So yeah, this, this weapon that I'm wielding right now was found under a piece of rubble. Found under some rubble, that's pretty awesome. 
through this guy. The red ones sometimes reduce strength, so you got to be careful about that. Oh, they're cursed. Wow, those are dangerous. Well, these guys are annoying. So those brown molds are actually pretty annoying because they have a lot of hit points. And, and you can find them very early in the game. Do I want to kill a dragon right now? I guess I do. Hit something invisible. Let me get over there. More ones. There we go. Sometimes these guys are in a bunch of their other ye yeeks. That's very dangerous. But when he's just with one other monster that's sent. Anyway, let's go hit the stairs and read some scrolls. How much turns does it take? 40 turns to get that magma? Oh no, we did more than 5,000 turns. Our sling of powers, our sling of power probably won't be there anymore. Whoops. Oh well. Oh no! Scroll the mapping is nice. Is there nothing in here? That's so weird. Well, I guess we have to see that. Six scrolls of recall, that's pretty nice. Yay, another wonder, that's very good. Figo Tidio. Well, our wounds are nice. It's probably good for 10 damage, not bad. I was going to say nine. I don't think I do very much damage when I'm stunned. Alright, what are we going to do next? Uh-oh. I guess we can go home. The thing is, now we can afford a staff of teleportation, but then we'll only have 400 gold left over. So I don't know if I really want to go home right now. Can I kill this guy? I guess I could try to wonder him. That worked. That works. So Wonder's a cool one because it does all sorts of crazy things. It either kills the guy by blasting him by some huge AOE, deep, deep wand AOE, or annihilation or drain life or something really powerful. But then it can also like blow up the level, or it can you can blow up the level, or it can. Uh, it can haste the monster or it can clone the monster. And for, I used to get those a lot, haste and clone. But I haven't been getting them very much lately. I had slowed a unique down a whole bunch and then I had tried to blast him with the, the wonder and I hasted him, so that was pretty annoying. We do not have free action, so this is cool. a little bit dangerous. So that yellow thing is called a homunculus and he one of the things he does is to paralyze you, but that's not the only thing he does, so which is good, because it means he'll do other stuff and not just do that all the time. 
I guess I don't really need to remove curses thing. Stone skin, I also don't really need stone skin. I think that slows you down, right? Pretty sure that slows you down, so we'll take those mushrooms. We just increased our AC by quite a bit. 16. One of the things I like to buy, if the store has it, is the Wand of Stone to Mud, because then I can get a lot of money. Money in the early game is pretty good. More recall. I had a feeling that was going to be a, uh, a cloning thing, and I was going um, you know, to throw a bolt at him, but I didn't want to be too presumptuous. I had a feeling that was, that was what it was going to be. I kind of want the, uh, maybe this is Satisfy Hunger. Yep. When you play this game so much, you can, you almost can predict what a scroll is going to be. Like, I had a feeling that was going to be Detect Invisible, and I was pretty sure that was going to be Satisfy Hunger. Satisfy Hunger comes in bigger stacks than some other scrolls. Alright. What is this? Haste monster? Stun monster! Fantastic! How do we get out of here? No, it's not going to be teleport. It's going to be mapping now. Mapping's. Guess we get rid of the scroll. Actually, I don't need the food. I have, uh,. I have the book now. Oh, there's stairs. Why are we not taking the stairs? Ooh. So I like to uh, inscribe these with four. Oh boy. Now, one of the things that's so awesome about rods of light is that they recharge so damn fast. They have like a four turn recharge rate. So you just keep blasting, keep blasting, keep blasting, keep blasting. Did I haste him? Yeah, I hasted him. That's alright. We'll just keep blasting him. Unaffected? Resists a lot. Well, that's not good. He resists stuff. Whoops. I messed up. I misclicked. Right. Let's get rid of this to free up a slot, and we need to do it anyway. So hopefully these guys keep pursuing me. This is annoying. Stun monster. Let's hold him. So hold is really good because it buys me time. So I hold him, then I Fungal! He's easy to kill though. He will respond to wonder. Oh, this is annoying. I don't want to fight two of these guys at once. Oh my god, is that stealth? <gasps> oh, it's like the best early game cloak you can find. That is so awesome. So look at our we have superb cell, even though we just started the game. There are too many friggin' uh, there are too many too many wolves and things like that. And it's a bit of a problem, but um. I don't want to use up all my shots on these guys. I know what I can do, I can heal. That's what these stabs are good for. I'm doing enough damage with my 
I'm doing enough damage with my weapon that I actually don't need to um, use my... This is annoying. So now what do I do? I'm, these guys are blocking my, my way back to the... To the main thing, I can go around, that's fine, let's go around. Well, they want to follow me, well that's great. Please follow me. I was going to save the blessing for the, uh, for the unique orcs, but they're actually... The, the, the orcs, the cat orc captains are going to be easier than these dogs, because these dogs are, uh, they're fast and they're intelligent and the orc captains just come at you, and they're, they're normal speed, so. I really don't want to be robbed right now. Whoops, this click. Well, we're getting levels by killing these wolves, so that's pretty good. Whoa, what the hell happened? That was crazy. I didn't realize it was, I wasn't paying close enough attention, I just thought they were all going to fall pretty easily. Mm. Man, Stealth Cloak is nice. So, we get everything that the, uh, Everything that everyone dropped? Ooh, trees. So we wouldn't have been able to go that way. We would have had to come back and fight the dogs. Those green things are, are 1,000 hit point trees are basically impossible to destroy. And they'll, oh, so now we're going to do, well, let's do this first. Let's see what that even does. Stone them up. Perfect. So we're going to hold them. So holding him buys us time. Although our stealth is too good, he's not going to come after us. Oh, we did. So now we're going to slow him down. Is this Grishnak? Gorfumdol. Yeah, we're going to slow down Gorfumdol. Gorfumdol. Whatever the hell his name is. And we're just going to blast him with our... Jesus. Was it with Grishnak? So we were gonna wonder him, but now that he's half dead, we don't want to wonder him, because we might heal him. So Snaga. I don't care about the Snaga. We want to get Grishnak. Oh my God. You can't ask for a better phase, people. I mean, what's up? You can't ask for a better phase. So I think we've gotten enough value out of our Carolite Light Wound staff. Maybe this will confuse them. Slow monster! Wow! Slow and bolt them down? Dude, that's freaking awesome. We're low, on, we're low on ammo. So now we're throwing our bolts because we ran out of ammo. Then we'll stun him and then we won't have any problems. It's nice that the wands got 
became useful, but they're almost too useful. I mean, they're very powerful now. I don't know if we're going to have the strength to carry that. We actually probably do, though, because plus two strength. I've had a lot of Hobbit, Rogue, Hobbit Ranger games where I get a plus two strength weapon, which is freaking awesome because that's the. You really need that. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Wow! So that's the friggin'. Now check out our self, you bold. It's heroic. That is the friggin'. Oh, but we don't have strength anymore. Well, so now we have this annoying thing that we have to decide between strength and. Still. Oh, with dagger. Ooh. Well, it's curse. I don't really care about it. So, yeah, I gotta. This is the hardest thing I have about this game. It's like, what do you. Mithril shod boots? Craziness. Huh. There's a lot of stuff that we got from those two guys. Now we gotta get rid of something. Um, I'm very torn about which. So maybe I should keep the armor in case I want to wear this stealthy thing. Should we keep? Should we just drop the friggin' roof curse? Protect invisible. Uh, what to get rid of? I don't want to find out what the potions are just yet. I guess I'll get rid of. I'll get rid of detect invisible. It's not that important. Still have no room for these. What else can I get rid of? Move curse. Old monster. I'm like I'm gonna hold on to old monster for a little longer. Let me get rid of hmm. I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna get rid of my book. That's the cheapest thing to replace. Actually let's get rid of I'm not gonna be removing curses too much in this game. And I can always buy them, even if they're a little expensive, they're hundred gold. Alright, now we double check the level that it's got nothing that we want, and we're gonna go. We'll probably take the stairs. Just so that we're a little bit deeper in the dungeon when we return to the dungeon. So, why this weapon is so great is because not only does it provide the most stealth that this type of weapon can provide. Provides regeneration and what we call our base. Our base means resistance of the base elements fire, acid, electricity, cold, which are the most important to resist because they're the most common to be read that you and they come in the most highest dosages. Up to 1600 later on in the game. You don't want to get, be, you don't want to get hit by 1600. No siree, then you die quick. All right, let's let's return to town. What is this blessing? I can't take it. That's all right. So pretty sure the uh, pretty sure the sling was not going to be there anymore. Look what it is ten iron shots. So I always check the weaponsmith. This thing, the black market, and this one first. Actually, another one, really good one to check is this one. Um, before you start spending your money. So we really shouldn't need their teleportation. Should I just leave the strength at home? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wear this one. Leave the big one. Leave this one. 
Leave this one. I gotta find out if this is free action. So how do I do that? Hmm. Well, I don't. I don't really need free action right now, so I'll find out what it is later when I really, when I might need it more. Um. Buy these. Buy these. Let's put our bolts at home. Put our arrows at home. I guess I could have left the arrows at home. I should have dried, forgot about the arrows. I could have left them on the dungeon floor and kept the kept the um Remove curse scroll. I don't need to buy recharging scrolls are really good. I don't think I get the spell So I'm gonna buy some of those I buy a couple of these Now I have seven of them. That's one way to identify Potions you buy buy ones you need and the one when and then you get something you need We don't really need neutralized poison. So now we're gonna start dropping. We drop the lowest stacks first blindness didn't need that and then this one, speed, see? By doing this, now we have an extra portion of speed for when we fight something scary. And I guess I can figure out what the rest of those are. Well, I can afford to buy them back. It's probably neutralized poison, poison but they're expensive, so I'm not going to buy them. Slowness actually is really useful. So why is it useful, you say? Here is why it is useful. Because now we find out if this has slow descent or free action or curse. There you go. So as much as I love these sandals for their awesome AC enchantments and their lightweightness, we're going to have to do the Mithril Shaw Boots of free action. Sweet. Alrighty, we don't need these anymore. In fact, we should just get rid of them. We should squelch them. That's it. I think that's pretty much it, my friends. Thanks for watching. Wait for part two.